Hey guys, welcome back. Well, today I've got this brand new Visio Battle Shark. It's the XS809S model. This is the latest um, Mavic toy clone. And uh, this is provided by TomTop.com for review today. So um, this one's claimed to have a 20 minute flight time. That's a big difference over this and the previous Visio model that was released last year. So uh, let's have a quick look. Not much to the box. It's very plain. There's a whole heap of different models here. I do not know which model I've got. I've probably got the 720p version or the uh, 0.3 camera megapixel version. So we'll soon find out when I'm at the field. But let's have a really quick look at what's inside. The drone itself looks pretty cool with the... Uh, the gold and black combo there and it's got the shark teeth on the front that looks pretty cool i'll just take this little film off the lens there now uh this is supposed to have a, either a 720p or a 0.3 megapixel like i just mentioned um, the difference with this one is that to the previous version what i've seen is that uh the previous version you couldn't really tilt it so you got like a 45 degree tilt on this one so that's rather neat i like it that you can be able to tilt it down so as you can see the um the legs fold out and snap in place it's powered by brush motors like all the other previous versions and on the bottom here we have do we have an sd card slot yes we do there are, uh, there is a metal frame in there, but uh, I'll have to check if that is fully functional um, or it's just uh, Wi-Fi app recording only. So it's got an icon here for an SD card, so I'm presuming that you can put one in, but I'll look in the user manual to make sure, uh, you know, you do not lose your card if you do put it in there. Okay, so it has an 1800 milliamp hour. 3.85 volt so it's a high voltage lipo one cell and this is what they're claiming that uh, will give you up to 20 minutes flight time we'll soon see um, i may do that in another video not in this review and uh, do a full flight time test it has a usb uh, micro usb uh, charging port just there guys sorry about the focus it's a little bit out there but uh, much like your Android devices, okay? And it's a rather thick battery. So um, I'll put that in. Let's have a look at the lights. That just clips in rather quick, easily. There's the lights there, guys. Nice bright uh, green lights on the front arm pods. You've got a uh, LED light bar behind the teeth. So that looks pretty cool. That would be a pretty good night flyer and red on the back all right so that's pretty cool uh, you also have the wi-fi antenna just sticking out the side there for the wi-fi fpv okay on to the controller now okay so we've got like a quick start guide here guys so they're telling you all the different uh stick commands so the ones marked number one are up and down bind you've got number two which is a calibration as you can see down the bottom here and they're just telling you about the emergency stop button so that's rather neat just a quick start guide there's nothing on the back there okay so uh yeah this controller looks very much like the other visio uh mavic clone that they released last year um so you've got the takeoff and land button on one button there emergency stop you've got all your trimmers uh, these ones aren't marked, so I'll have to have a look at that later. This looks like the headless mode, and that looks like the one key return. You've got the three speed rates and the flips up here, and you've also got the phone holder just there, which looks like it will fit my large phone, so that's good to see. And a little rubber, rubber uh, strip there to... Um, Looks like a double-sided tape strip there, spongy sort of rubber to uh, make sure your phone don't slip out. So that's, that's it there. Takes three AA batteries. And all that should be left is some spare parts and the user manual. We have the charger. 
USB charger with a little micro USB uh, plug there. So that will go into the side of the battery, like I mentioned before. Uh, this one, because it's an 1800 milliamp hour uh, one cell high voltage LiPo, um, they were saying that it will take about one and a half to two hours to charge it via this USB charger. So keep that in mind, guys. You might want to, if you do buy this drone, you might want to get multiple batteries for it. And all that's left, I won't open this package, guys. It's a little goodie bag here. You've got your spare prop, props, uh, a set of four, four um, prop guards, and just the screwdriver. We've actually got two screwdrivers here. See that? Two screwdrivers. Not too sure why. They look exactly the same, but they threw in two. <laughs> okay. Usually you get one, which is more than enough. Um... And the user manual leaflet just goes through how to hook it up to your computer. Da da da. Yeah, just the main simple functions, guys. And the QR codes for all the uh, different, you know, if you've got an iPhone or the Android system. So there you go, guys. Um, so that's it for the unboxing. I'm going to charge this one up. It's going to take a while to charge, like I said. This uh, new Vizio Battle Shark, it's going to take probably an hour and a half uh, to charge at this battery up. So um, I'll get this on the charger and uh, I'll see these guys at the field for a flight test review. Alright guys, I'm at the field now and we're going to go for a flight with this new Vizio Battle Shark Mavic Toy Clone. Okay, so I'll just put it down there for a minute. I'm going to get the uh, MobiZen recording on the app. I've already bound it to the quad. The quad is on. So I'll start that recording. Okay. Now I'm in the X5 XSW app. Put it in my phone. Put my phone in the holder. There you go. Okay, I'll put my phone in the holder up and down bind with the quadcopter I did put an SD card in it guys it does say in the, the manual that you can use an SD card to record your videos and photos so that's great um, but there's no buttons that I can see that are on this uh, this controller for video so we'll have to do it through the app I'm guessing alright so this is pretty much a flat surface I'll do the calibration, the lights are blinking. You put it in 50% rate, which is second rate. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll start recording on the app. Hopefully that's recording, I can't see any numbers. So if it's not recording on the app, it'll be recording on the Mobis then. Now it's straight off the takeoff, I mean I did calibrate it just then with a gyro you can see it is tilting to the to the right there is a little bit of wind see if I can trim that up a little bit better ok now I might put it in the third rate there we go, take it up a bit Seems like a nice flyer. Pretty stable. Nice yaw rate in rate one. In rate three, sorry. I won't be able to fly in rate one in this wind now. It's starting to pick up now, so send it out there a bit. Now let me try the one key return and it is coming this way, I just got out of that so it did come in this direction, let me go try to go straight out ok, one key return, this button and it's going a little bit to the right but there is a bit of wind guys ok 
it is getting blown that direction because I'm not touching it, see? There is a bit of wind. Okay. Pretty fast in third rate. Yeah, nice. Let's take it out there. Still got Wi-Fi signal too, so that's quite good. It's hard for me to see in this glare in the sunlight, guys, for the uh, Wi-Fi FPV, but I can see it. It's not too bad. I don't see any breakups. Well, let me bring it down, let's have a good look at it. Got altitude hold. So, as you can see, it's holding the altitude very good. Yeah, nice looking quad. These uh, Mavic clones do fly well. They have done in the past and this one is no exception. This one is flying really good. Nice and stable. There you go. Yeah, it looks pretty cool with the shark teeth there. <laughs> you see the red LEDs. Okay, let me just test, uh, what should we test now? Headless. Just test headless. Okay, it's, it's windy, so I won't do this for too long. Okay, but it is going forward, back, okay, left, and right. Okay, and as you can see, the drone is on, on the side, so I'll get out of that. I don't like headless that much, but it's there if you like, want it. Okay, we'll check out some flips which is the top shoulder button on the right here yeah nice nice flips there, barrel roll to the left I like the barrel rolls barrel roll to the right can I do a barrel roll on the move? no let's bring it back wind's starting to pick up a little bit now back flip so yeah guys, pretty cool see the yaw rate do some funnels. There's the funnels in rate three. I'll go down to rate one, even though I won't stay in it long, but just to see the yaw rate. That's rate one. Fighting the wind a bit, guys, in rate one. Rate two, two beats. A little bit more faster there on the yaw. And it elevates, as you can see that was in rate 2, flip. Elevates when it does a flip, so that's great. I like when quads do that. They elevate a little bit. Okay, rate 3, back into rate 3. I'll continue in rate 3. Because the wind is picking up as I'm going further into this flight review. So it's the way, it's pretty calm when you get to a field. You know, not a cloud in the sky here or anything, nice sunny day and uh, <laughs> when you get the bird up in the air it starts picking up and when that's a wind there for you, just to give you an indication. And it's fighting the wind towards me, see, so if it's picking up, you can probably hear it on the microphone now. Anyway, what I'll do now, before I forget, Turn that recording off, so hopefully it recorded it to the app, the folder. Try to take some pictures. Because I want to see when I get home if I do have the 720p version or the 0.3 megapixel. My just phone came out. <laughs> so what I'll do guys, hang on a second. My phone clip came out. I was trying to press the photo. So what I'll do, I'll test the auto land, which is that button there. It's also the same button as the 
as the auto take off, same button, it shuts the motors off. That just, my big phone just came out. Okay. Okay, well, I'll send it up again. Uh, I'm in rate three. Rate three. I'll send it up again, try to take some photos here. Try to keep it as stable as I can. Okay, so one hit of the auto take off. And it takes off there. Okay. I won't go too high, I'll just try to take some photos here. Okay. I'm going to try to take one of me, if I can. <laughs> it's a bit hard. <laughs> Let me go this way. I see myself here, yes. I'll get a bit closer. Okay, I flew above my head there, so hopefully I got some action shots. <laughs> All right, try to do one this way, facing that end of the field. Try to keep it stable when this wind is hard. Just using the pitch stick and, you know, tapping the phone. All right, let's go the other way so you get a view of this end of the field. Nice stable fire, guys. Like, once you've get it in the sweet spot. I mean, I am fighting wind this whole time. It's doing a good job. Look at little altitude hold. <laughs> My phone <laughs> slipped out of the uh, clip again. Okay. Let me bring it in one more time. I'll just cut this video for a sec. Okay. Okay, let's go up again. Took some photos, yep. Try to take one here. Okay. Do a gyro calibration one more time. Just check. Just check. Okay, third rate. Still a bit of an altitude test. Might hit the record button while I'm up there. So I'm hitting record. Hopefully it's recording to the SD card. Go for a bit of a cruise around here. So yeah. Got really good FPV reception. Just keep it away from that end of the field. That's where the wind is blowing to. Yeah, nice. Really nice fly, guys. And, you know, the, um, the flight time is supposed to be around 20 minutes that they're claiming, uh, Vizio are claiming, uh, with the 1800 milliamp hour 3.85 volt high high voltage uh, one cell so let me just bring it down now okay so as you can see fighting the wind it's dipping down a bit with the uh, barometer chip inside then raises up again. So it looks like I've got LVC. Lights are flashing. Let me just get that above my head so you can see that. See the lights are flashing there. 
that indicates to me LVC. I'll stop that recording just so I've uh, I've got it just in case it falls, you know. So there it is, there, guys. The Vizio Battle Shark Mavic Clone. XS809S I believe I hope I got that one right and uh, I'll leave I'll leave the description to tomtop.com in the uh, just in the video so if you want to check this one out guys you can do so I think they've uh, done a great product here anyway it's a uh, I've got another Mavic clone and it flies very similar to this. This one has a good flight time. Okay guys, well it is got a long LVC by the look of it. I might just land it and call that a review. Pretty flown it quite a bit in this uh, review so Hit the landing button and there we go okay guys well I hope you enjoyed that review of the new Vizio Battle Shark really nice quadcopter I like how they've got the gears on the top that's a that's a great idea rather than have them on the bottom because um, some quadcopters have them on the bottom and if you land in grass or sand or anything like this here you know, you can flick up to the uh, sand and dust and you can chew up your gears. So that's a really good design cue too. Alright guys, well, I'll check out all the footage and um, the pictures. And uh, yeah, I ho hope you like this review, guys, of the Vizio Battle Shark drone. It's available at tomtop.com. So check it out there, guys. There'll be the description in the below of the video and uh, I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching, enjoy the hobby and have a great weekend. Bye for now.